Good morning. You are listening to Upreach, a morning devotional presented by the Church Street Church of Christ in Lewisburg, Tennessee, to encourage you as you face the opportunities and challenges of today. Let's begin this day together with some inspiring thoughts from God's Holy Word. And he himself gave some to be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, and some pastors and teachers for the equipping of the saints for the work of ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ, till we all come to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God, to a perfect man, to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ, that we should no longer be children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the trickery of men and the cunning craftiness of deceitful plotting, but, speaking the truth in love, may grow up in all things into him who is the head, Christ, from whom the whole body, joined and knit together by what every joint supplies, according to the effective working by which every part does its share, causes growth of the body for the edifying of itself in love. Ephesians chapter 4, verses 11 through 16. William Barclay writes, there is something in most people which responds to the hymns and the psalms which are part of the very heritage of a Christian people. Often in my student days I went on evening cruises on a summer night. There would be singing and dancing and fun and games, but again and again the singing would end up with the 23rd Psalm. One of the most moving things at great international football matches is the singing of Abide With Me. There is something in the depth of the human heart which responds to this. People are not essentially irreligious, they are essentially religious. If only we could get at them. If people will not come to church, is it not our duty to bring the church to them? One of our greatest failures in the modern church is that we have identified the church with what are officially known as the church buildings. In the letters of Paul, we meet a husband and wife about whom I wish we knew a little more. Their names are Aquila and Priscilla. And twice, greetings are sent to or from Aquila and Priscilla and the church that is in their house. See Romans chapter 16, verses 3 and 5, and 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 19. On the one occasion, they were in Corinth, and on the other, they were in Ephesus. But wherever Aquila and Priscilla were, their house became a church. The church is where Christ is. Ubi Christus as the Latin tag has it, Ebi Ecclesia. We must rediscover that any place can become a meeting place for the church if we have the courage and the winsomeness to make it so. What about you today? Have you fallen into the easy trap of thinking of the church as a building? How often do you say or think, I am going to church? The church, as defined in the Bible, is the body of Christ, of which he is the head. Are you a part of that one church, his body, today? This has been Upreach, a presentation of the Church Street Church of Christ in Lewisburg, Tennessee. I am Kyle Bolton, the pulpit minister at Church Street, and I would like to personally invite you to come and share times of Bible study and worship with us each week. We meet every Sunday at 9 o'clock a.m. for our morning worship, followed by our Sunday school for all ages at 10.15 a.m. Then we meet again at 6 o'clock p.m. for our evening worship. We also have a midweek meeting for devotion and Bible study on Wednesdays at 6.30 p.m. I hope to see you there. Have a blessed day. Choose this day the one you will serve, the Prince of Peace or the Prince of this world. Choose this day what's important to you. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Choose this day the one you will serve, the Prince of Peace or the Prince of this world. Choose this day what's important to you. But as